What's up you guys, it's Levi here. So today I'm gonna to be doing a live tutorial for you guys on how to use a password manager for Android. And I'm gonna be specifically talking about how to use the password manager at LastPass. And I'm gonna be talking about how to set that password manager up, how to set the passwords inside of LastPass on your Android device, and how to view those passwords on your Android device inside of LastPass. So I think this video will help you guys get that set up. It'll be super, super easy to follow along because I'll be doing it live for you guys to, to see that whole process. And this video is gonna be super, super beneficial to you guys because by getting this last pass application set up, um, you can then start going and changing the passwords on each and every single website to something different and something complicated. Then you're not like the majority of the people out there that are using the same easy password for each and every single website that they're using. And so if you're involved in a data breach and a hacker gets your password, they can't just go and hack all of your accounts. At worst, they're gonna get into that one account, right? So it's gonna put you in a super, super secure position and it's gonna give you peace of mind that, hey, I'm not gonna have to worry about all my accounts getting hacked. So I hope you guys learn a lot from this video. If you guys have any questions, make sure that you leave them down below. I'd love to answer those for you and help you out if you're having problems with this with this setup or you don't understand something. Um, and then finally, I'm, I have two other videos on this. Um, I have a video that talks about how to get this set up on Mac and PC. I'll post a link down below in the description if you guys wanna check that out. And then I will be doing one for iPhone and iPad pretty soon here, so keep on the lookout. Um, and make sure that you're smashing that like button for the YouTube algorithm if you like this content. All right, so welcome to my Android phone. And I know some of you guys out there are like, well, well, Levi, this is not an Android phone. Dislike, unsub, why did you put this clickbait out there? Well, obviously, this is not an Android phone. It's an application on my computer that simulates an Android phone. Unfortunately, when I tried to do the recording of LastPass on my phone, all that came up was a black screen when I opened LastPass, which does not work very well for a tutorial like this. Um, so props to LastPass. They have security in place so that you can't record your LastPass on on your Android phone, which is normally a good thing. Um, but I had to move over to a computer version that simulates a phone so that you guys could actually see the content. Um, don't worry though, because it's going to work exactly the same as what you would have on your phone. And so you'll be able to follow along and be able to understand how to do this. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is click on the Google Play Store, <laughs> tap on the Google Play Store, and search for LastPass. Once you get there, click the install button or tap the install button and tap the open button. All right, and then you're gonna wanna slide through all these screens here. You can read them if you want. I've already seen these a million times, so. And it's very, very difficult to do on an actual computer keyboard, so, or computer mouse, so <laughs> bear with me there. All right, so then you're gonna wanna tap the sign up button um, and type in your email address. And I'm going to use my super cool randomized email address that you guys wish you could have. Sorry, too bad. And then you get to the screen where you're typing in your master password. All right, so this master password is going to be what you use to get into your LastPass account that will control all of your other passwords inside of LastPass. So you want to set this something super, super hard. Um, and when, you're, when we're talking about setting a strong password, it's all about length. So you want it to be at least 15 to 20 characters long, if not longer, if you can remember that. Um, you want to be able to remember that. So use a password, something like, I will smash that like button five times or something like that. Don't use that password because I set it on here and somebody will try it against you if you use that password. All right, so I'm gonna put my super, super deep, duper secret password inside of here. I do not recommend putting that password hit in there because it makes it easier for somebody that's trying to break into your account. So don't put that in there. All right, so finally tap the create account button and now you're gonna to go to your vault. 
and you want to turn on this enable let LastPass fill your usernames and passwords for you because that's going to help you when you go to other applications to change passwords and set up passwords. So click enable. And then you're going to get a screen here that talks about how we need your permission to fill logins on this device. So it's going to force you to go into the settings options and go through this. We'll do this right now. And it automatically pulls it up all nicely for you. You don't even have to go in the settings. So you just have to go here, turn LastPass on, and click OK here. And that will allow you to autofill in the passwords through those applications. All right, so you'll click back, or, or tap back, I guess. Um, and I don't have, I'm going to have to click the back button to get out of here. All right, so now we're inside of the LastPass application. All right. So normally if you had passwords inside of here, you would see all of your passwords inside of, inside of this application. Um, you can do this by clicking all items. There's nothing in here because we haven't created a password yet. So let's go ahead and create a password. All right, so the NFL draft is on right now and you're super, super excited for the NFL season and you wanna get a head start by starting up your fantasy account on the ESPN app. You don't have an ESPN account, so let's go ahead and pretend like we're gonna create one inside of LastPass. So there's two ways to create a password inside of LastPass. I'm gonna show you the way that you're gonna to have to do it most of the time here, and then later on I'll show you the other way once we get to that point. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta go down to the plus icon and tap that. And you can see that there's other things that you can put in LastPass besides just your password, but we're just gonna tap that password field. All right, so we're just gonna type in ESPN for the name. Um, you can create a folder here and, and press the plus icon uh, to save that in a different folder if you wanted to. Um, we'll type in the URL as ESPN.com. Um, and then your username for ESPN is always going to be your email address. So we'll put my super, super duper cool email address in there. Um, and then this is the part that LastPass does best for you. You haven't generate your password. So you, you tap on that little lock icon. And I always try to set it as long as possible because remember, length is what makes the password more secure. So I'm going to set it to 127 or 128 and hope ESPN supports that link. Unfortunately, there's websites that do not support the maximum link. And so then you have to narrow it down. Um, there's settings for the password too. So some websites you'll have to turn off certain characters and things like that by unchecking this because certain types of certain type of sites only take certain types of characters, um, which can kind of be a pain sometimes. But I think ESPN supports all of this stuff, so we're just going to click save at the 128. All right, and then you can type a note down here if you want. Um, I always check this require password reprompt. Um, basically, this makes it every time you have to copy the password out of LastPass, somebody has to type, you have to type your master password to access that password. And it's good for if you leave your phone somewhere and somebody happens to get into your phone, they can't just copy your passwords out of there without knowing your master password to LastPass. Um, you can also check this auto login box, which if it works right, which it never seems to work right, uh, when you open up that ESPN app, and if you're not signed in, you would just automatically log in with LastPass to that app. But most of the time it doesn't work right, so I'm not going to check that box. All right, so go ahead and click the tap, the save button. That's going to save it in your LastPass vault here now. Um, so now the next thing that you're going to want to do before you go into that ESPN app to set up your account is click on the ESPN password in your vault and copy that password. And then you're going to type in your master password for your password vault. And you click confirm. And that goes ahead and pastes your password to the clipboard. All right, so now you're going to go back to the ESPN app because you want to create your account. And you're going to click the sign up button inside of there. All right, so I talked about there was a second way to set a password. Um, if it's working right, which it most of the time doesn't, as you can see here, LastPass will actually come up and prompt you, and then you can do that same process where you're going and clicking on this, that little lock icon on the side and generate your password that way, and it'll automatically fill it in. But most of the time it doesn't work, so you have to do it the way that I showed you, and I recommend doing it that way. All right, so copy in your password that you had from LastPass. Um, you'll 
I'm on a computer, so it's different, but normally you just tap your finger down and hold it until it gives you the option to paste, and then you can paste it in the last pass. Um, and then you want to use your email address. So I'm going to use my super, super cool email address that you guys wish that you had. Um, uncheck the box because you don't want a bunch of junk. And you click the sign up button. And boom, ESPN supported all, supported that password. And you have your, a super, super difficult password for your ESPN account. Awesome, right? So we'll just go through all this stuff. Who cares? All right, so you're signed in with that account. So now if you have to sign back into that account now that we created that account how would you do that well let's log into that account all right so this is the second part um normally if the LastPass app is working right um it will auto populate and say hey do you want to put in your password inside of here but most of the time that doesn't work right so you have to go back into LastPass and copy that password out. So that's what we're gonna do. We went over to LastPass. We're gonna copy that password again, and you're gonna have to type your master password to get access to that. Your password's copied to the clipboard, so then you go back into your ESPN app, and you paste that password inside of your ESPN app, and then put your email address inside of there. And you click the login button, and boom, you're in your ESPN app. You can do all your fantasy stuff or whatever you wanna do. And that's just an example for ESPN, but it would be the same for any other application that you're using on your phone. And so I recommend that you're going inside of LastPass itself, clicking that plus icon and creating that password inside of there. And then when you need to log into an application, you're going into LastPass and clicking on the application inside of LastPass and copying that password and then pasting it back into that application. And that seems to be the way that's going to work most of the time. Or that seems to be the way that's always going to work for you. Um, the other way where LastPass will come up and prompt you inside of applications seems to work and sometimes and other times it doesn't. So you can't rely on that to work all the time, I just recommend doing it this way. All right, so that's how you get LastPass set up on your Android mobile device. Um, I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. If you guys have any questions, make sure you're leaving a comments down below so I can be able to answer those for you. Um, and then make sure that you guys are using this LastPass application to go out there and change your passwords on each and every single website and the application that you're using and make sure that you're changing to something difficult at least 15 to 20 characters or longer and you'll be happy with yourself because when you're involved in a data breach then that attacker at most is only going to be able to get into one website and not all of them like the majority of the people out there had because they're using the same password for everything so i hope you guys got a lot of value out of this Make sure that you're smashing that like button, hitting the subscribe button, and hitting that notification bell if you haven't already and you're sharing this content out with everybody that you know so they can help protect themselves as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.